bocce ball, a common, fun, backyard activity, is played between two individuals. To begin the game, an initial yellow ball is thrown out, and each player has four tries to get their ball closer to the yellow ball than their opponent. You can hit the opponent's ball away from the target, or you can hit your own ball to get it closer to the target. As you can see, bocce ball is full of physics. Two bocce ball competitors, Daniel Bocinator Craner and Hannah Slamovit, are in the midst of an intense bocce ball regional competition. Danielle throws her second bocce ball at about five meters per second at a stationary ball of equal mass. Find the final velocity of the stationary bocce ball. Problem number one. Daniel's bocce ball is thrown at 5 meters per second toward a stationary ball of equal mass in a perfectly elastic collision, as shown by the diagram below. We must first use the equation pi equals pf to find our first equation. m1 times v1 plus m2 times v2 equals m1 times v1 final plus m2 times v2 final. We now plug in the numbers. 5 plus 0 equals v1 final plus v2 final. 5 equals v1 final plus v2 final, creating our first equation, y equals 5 minus x. To find our second equation, we use kei equals kef, which is 1 half m1 times v1 squared plus 1 half m2 v2 squared equals 1 half m1 v1 final squared plus 1 half m2 v2 final squared. We plug in the numbers, 5 squared plus 0 squared equals v1f squared plus v2f squared, creating our second equation, y equals plus or minus the square root of 25 minus x squared. Now plug in the two equations into the calculator and solve for the intersection. Remember, one intersection will be your original pair and the second intersection will be your answer. Answer, second ball moves away at five meters per second. Anna then throws her bocce ball with a mass of three kilograms at two meters per second at another stationary bocce ball with a mass of six kilograms. The first bocce ball comes to rest while the second ball moves with a velocity of one meter per second. Find whether this collision is elastic or inelastic. Then find the final momentum and kinetic energy of the second ball. Problem two. Hannah throws her bocce ball with a mass of three kilograms at two meters per second at another stationary bocce ball with a mass of six kilograms. The first bocce ball comes to rest while the second bocce ball moves with a velocity of one meter per second. The first part of this problem asks whether this collision is elastic or inelastic. We determine this by first finding the initial kinetic energy and the initial momentum. To find kinetic energy, we use the equation Ke equals one half mv squared, and to find momentum, we use the equation P equals mv. We work these equations up for both ball one and ball two, and we put their answers together to find the total initial kinetic energy and total initial momentum. The next step is to find the final kinetic energy and final momentum. We use the same equations, k equals 1 half mv squared and p equals mv. We take the answers to these equations and put them together to find the total kinetic energy and total momentum. We then compare the total initial and final kinetic energy and the total initial and final momentum. Only momentum is conserved, and therefore the collision is inelastic. The second part of this problem is to find the final kinetic energy of ball 2. For this, you use the kinetic energy equation of Ke equals 1 half mv squared, and you plug in the information given to you for ball 2. And for the final part of this problem, you need to find the final momentum of ball 2. For this, you just plug in the numbers to the equation P equals mv. Thank you.